As we all know, I do considerably worse the larger the nation I'm playing is. So starting as France, trying to get as big as possible in the first 56 years. It's a recipe for disaster. Let's do this. This is Big Blue Blob. Attempt 01. And a lot of it will depend on the dice rolls of how we start up. So, what's the situation? Well, we're not rivaled by Castile, so that's really nice. Let's make sure they don't ever rival us. Kind of like you as well, Austria. So. Let's be friends forever. As ever, let me know if something is up with the audio or the visual. <sighs> Remember, Jake, never go full burgundy. Oh, well, not in a coalition war, that's for sure. Okay, let's uh, wrap our head around the situation then. Politically, that is. So, Castile and England have rivaled each other, which is a wonderful start to my day. I need to know, who are you friendly with then, England? Who are you going to be allying? Is it Aragon? Probably not. Although Aragon will want an alliance with you. Denmark, perhaps? It's not out of the question. Not Scotland. You're hostile to them. Oh well, that's up for you to decide. In any case, you are my sworn enemy. Burgundy is also your enemy, but I will not be befriending them anytime soon. I may as well throw them the mutual rivalry. And Provence of all nations. Now, I wouldn't mind gobbling up Provence, but it's such high base tax land. You see, you've got a rivalry with Aragon. I think we can see eye to eye on that matter. So... Right off the bat, I would quite like to improve my relations with Navarra. Hmm. But whatever else. Well, there isn't much we can do now since our diplomats are all tied up. There's no point paying for this fort since it's already fortified with the... Uh with the capital there. Probably same for here. We'll just undo you for now. I've been playing a bunch of Hearts of Iron, so i got to get my head back into Europa right now. Yeah, I would quite like to destroy Aragon nice and early. Feed their lands to Navarra and then consume Navarra. As long as Castile is both my friend and also hates Aragon, they should be more than willing to help me carve them up. So there we go. Navarra also wants an alliance. It's a little earlier than I would like to ally them. But we'll go for it anyway. Because if I refuse it, they will, uh, they'll will they hate me for it. They're probably going to offer me a, a royal marriage as well. Both of our rulers are pretty old. I hope they don't die, since that means we'll have to marry again. Spend our time getting a claim on you. Probably on Urgil. Let's just hope nobody discovers us, since it's uh, really not wanting to gain lots of aggressive expansion early on. <sighs> Man, why am I feeling the pressure when playing such a big, bloody, blobby nation? Who's to say? So I think early on, I want to crush Aragon. If that means fighting Portugal as well, wearing my Naples is going to be in on that, then so be it. Now, your other enemies are... Who exactly? The Pope and Venice. Well, me and the Pope are good buddies. And the Pope will help chew through Neapolitan lands, so... I think me and the Pope can see eye to eye over a thing or two here. I just hope nobody attacks my good friend, the Pope. Okay, base tax is lovely, and normally what you would rather have, but... In this fast-paced game, I want the stability, so I have fewer things to waste my points on. Oh, snap, we're on Diplo. Could either go balanced or on to admin. Probably going to go admin, since there's going to be a lot to core early on. 
And, hmm. Tax guy pays for himself. Good enough reason, frankly. Wouldn't mind you as well. Can't get enough of that morale of armies. We already have too many diplomatic relations, one of them being the guarantee of Scotland. I don't think I want to guarantee Scotland. Why would I? Why would I indeed? He may be very useful for a destruction of England early on. Hmm. I both want it and don't want it. Well, if I'm already guaranteeing you, I may as well make it an alliance as well. It allows me to keep my eyes on England all that much better. BB Morty says I'm just here to shake my head at Jake playing France. Can't make anyone happy these days, can we? People say, Jake, Jake, please do Big Blue Blob, but then I do it and they're like, Jake, why are you doing it? You let me down. Etc. Okay, so how else are we going to do this? Brittany is way out of the question for uh, vassalizing. I should probably get some good relations with my Iberian friend here. Don't want him turning on me at the last moment. Jake Diplo vassalize an Irish miner. It's a thought. Could probably get Leinster not t without too much difficulty. But part of me wants to take it by force. What are you doing just hanging around there? Okay, it seems that people are uh, ganging up against us already. Oh, snap. Aragon allied Burgundy. Now that's going to be a pain in the rear end. Since Burgundy always punches pretty hard. If they're allied to both Burgundy and Portugal, that's going to be an issue. So what can we do about that? Well, we could pray that the King of Burgundy dies, that would be nice. But there's also you. Since Castile has rivaled you, I may just be able to pull the trigger on England nice and fast. Venice is an issue, but... Alright, little point in paying in you. You folks make us more money in Bordeaux, please. And then we have you folks. Alright, so early attack on Aragon. Probably not the wisest thing to do in that case. What about Poland, Jake? Yeah, Poland would be a nice choice. But I'd need to get the relations back up at the moment. I really want to solidify having Castile... Well, Castile having my back. I also want Navarra as a vassal really quickly. Royal marriage with Scotland. I'm not that close with you right now. Okay, just to get a feel for the situation, I'm going to recall the Navarran diplomat. And let's just assume I was to fight England. Papal States, Castile, Austria, wow, they'd all join in. Austria would take care of Venice, Castile would take care of Portugal. Scotland would, however, not join in, because they're scaredy cats. Would be interesting to get the quick kill on England when their allies are so pathetic. It would amuse me greatly. Why don't we try it? Means we're going to need military access from Scotland. And I'm going to want my troops over there. I'm also going to want a lot more troops. Hmm, a few around here would suffice, but... Let's see, Venice was caught up by Austria and Portugal by Castile, and that would be grand. Let's get our way to force limit, and also pay a bit of attention to what England is uh, boasting at the moment. 22 and 8. And they probably, uh, probably bring out a little bit more on top of that. Well, we just have to hit them hard. Could throw down a little mercenary to grab Gascogne and besiege Labourde, whilst at the same time doing the same thing to Co and Normandy. But the issue is I'd really need to destroy England over here. It would be backed up by Connaught, that's probably not a big issue, but it is an issue. Okay. We'll go with this assumption that that's what we're going to do. 
In the meantime, there's very little point in paying my troops. Let's just hoard some money. Jake, if you get this achievement, will you move on to better than Napoleon? Yeah, because I'd rather not spend any more time than necessary playing as France. So I may as well get it while we're at it. Could get fleet basing rights from the Scots while we're here. I also really need to get those relations up with uh, Navarra. So let's have you at work again and pull the Castilian one. Should throw down a guarantee on you as well. Fleet basing rights would only cost me 0 0.6. That's not a big amount. And it would save me a bit of time and hassle in the future, so we'll go for that. Nice, 31 days in May. Let me know if the music's a bit loud, because it's sounding a little loud for me. Offer you military access. We need to uh, get all the little bonuses we can on our good friend Navara. So that they're all that bit more keen to serve me. Sucks taking that little bit of attrition out at sea, but I am too impatient at this point in time. There's also an achievement where you have to get all your French cores back, but I got that in a bugged out way. A long time ago. Right, it's imperative to check and see how you're feeling towards Castile as well. Need to do everything I can to get your relations nice and high. Almost feels like a fool's errand, throwing all my units over to Scotland at this point in time, but we'll be fine. Good, nobody's getting cold feet about fighting England. Let's keep it that way. Would much rather be fighting Aragon, but as long as they have Burgundy on their side, then it's going to be more of a pain than I want it to be. So we have you guaranteed. Gave you military access. May as well grab some trade power while we're at it, since that also boosts relations. Lovely. Little gift on top of that, and you'll be my pretty little vassal before we know it. So far, so good. Yeah, it does seem like a dangerous gamble throwing all my units at England. Because if he just gets one lucky strike at me... I mean, granted, I start with a couple of great generals, but... Is that going to be enough? Well, I need only occupy one province to be able to recruit mercenaries there, so it's not too big a deal. I need to gift you sooner or later, may as well do it now so I don't forget. Okay, so far so not bad. That's a scary amount to throw at England, but they can always throw rather a lot back. I do feel that it would be prudent to throw just a little bit more at them, though. Well, again, I can just murk up whilst I'm there. I'll probably need to anyway, as long as I just push my way down. He only has two forts to worry about anyway. There is Meath, granted, but well, let's just hope he doesn't get any more allies. Actually, why bother with mercs here when I could just use regulars? They need only stroll into Gascony and co, and then over to Normandy. Jake, how many troops does England have? Rather a few. Man, it would really blow if he allied Aragon. Neutral and friendly. Hmm. 
You know, we should be able to get Portugal out of this without too much fuss. I might even grab a province or two from them. How's the range on that? Not out of the question, although it is rather high development. Yeah, it's all very rather high development. European granted, I mean, these islands I could grab without too much bother, but I don't have the range on them, which is an issue. Okay, at least we've got a couple of kings on the go here. He's kept his union over Naples and his alliance with Burgundy. It's just something to keep in mind. I'm very close to getting you on my side. Nothing more I can do to help it but wait. Which is a shame, but it'll only take a few months. And indeed, during those few months, I can start paying my troops. I'm going to grab a coffee, don't die me in well. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Lucky. I always refer to you when I need a little pick-me-up. Now, I probably will reclaim Normandy in this war against England. Since it's a good idea to get all my cores back, it'll be a reconquest after all, but that's straight away 12, 34, 44, 50-something... 60-something, almost 70% right there. I need to grab a couple of uh, garbage provinces off of the English, main la uh, English land as well. But that could also give me just the opportunity I need with Scotland too. Scotland and a bloomin' Irish, which is a good footway into, or toehold into Norway. Alright, well, it's worth considering in the meantime. We've got our units prepared for the English there. We've got our forts, might as well pay for this. You never know when someone's going to poke you in the behind. Otherwise, we need only wait for this to reach 190, and then we can grab you. Should take two, maybe three months. Three at that rate. That will be fine. Jake, this will make them go over the limit for vassalization. Make who go over the limit? I ain't giving diddly to Scotland. Alright, that's unfortunate. Austria is now at war. So if I were to go for England... Alright, Austria just still happy to do it. They're in a... Ugh, that's easy picking for them. They'll have no problem. Better remove the guarantee to get that truce rolling then. Indeed. Alright, excellent. Another plop of stability right where we need it. Yeah, if we're going to have a truce anyway, we may as well pull that guarantee. That's not how it works, Austria. Why would you need my help against those guys? Oh well, I have little choice but to accept here. Still, it means when I declare war here... Ugh. Got the cooldown of a month. Oh, dearie me. Let's see. Okay, Augsburg is a non co belligerent, so Bohemia's alliance shouldn't hurt anything there. Alright, so with that, we can grab Navarra as a vassal. Hopefully Castile don't mind too much. Papal States. Hold on, Papal States? Do I even want them involved in this? They might give a good licking to Venice, but I want Papal States to deal with Aragon. And that opportunity could yet present itself. So no, we won't call the Papal States into this. We want Castile in on this, and Austria in on this. Scotland are a bit pathetic, so they won't join in. Alright, how are we going to do this then? Tell me about yourself, England. You got a lot of troops, you got 30,000 of them. I have a little bit more, and I'm coming for you. You have your friend in high places as well, though. Alright, best not be too hasty here. 
What I want are you folks. Now, just to be clear, your ally is Kanot, who is over there. I want you here. Split up. I want a couple of you there, and a couple of you there. Do me proud. It'd be hilarious if this didn't work. Okay, but we have nothing to really worry about here, probably. You'll be there on the 30th of May, huh? Should be fine. Got our eyes on all adjacent areas, no sign of the English or the Irish. Scotland won't join the swine. Alright, Castile and Austria. This will be the reconquest of, not Labourd since it's fortified, made of Gascony or Bascony since we should be there quickly enough. Now Portugal, making you a co-belligerent would involve Aragon, not something we're looking for right now, but it also means extra AE for taking your land, so that's something to keep into mind. Venice, you're only allied with England, but you may bring in some troublemakers if I were to make you a uh, co-belligerent. Also, I don't think I have the range on anything since our range caps out here at Calabria. So forget that. Last of all, there is Connaught, who is also allied with Scotland. That we certainly don't want. So no, no enemy co-belligerents. Just get Castile and Austria on our side to take care of Portugal and Venice. Make it the reconquest of Bascone, and away we go. Because why not? Auto save indeed. Alright, so straight away I want you. I want you. And how's this looking? Nice, thought my guys would be exiled. So how's this looking? It's looking not too bad. Go for it, Castile. Really though, I, th I thought I would get exiled. Oh well. How's them apples? Plenty of uh, supply and lothium, we'll just march our way down here. Thank goodness there's no more entry and exit. Uh... Oh my, they are just asking to die. One shock. Wishing I'd gone for this faster now. 18 and 18. Farmlands as well. Jake, don't forget to send a man to cap Castile. Good point, and I should be getting military access from Castile. No, there's no need for it. We're allied in the same war. He's not recruiting any units in Labourd or Normandy, so that's also groovy. Come on, Jean Bureau. We'll cross a river? Not on my net, Kelly. We have maneuver. And we have some obscenely lucky rolls. Good night, England. You will not be missed. Okay, they have 12 units there. I would like all the... Uh... Hold on, if it's 12. Let's think about this a bit cleverer. We'll get 10 and 6. That way we don't have to include the uh, mostly beaten ones. This will give us a full flank of 4 and as many uh, cavalry as we can get on this side. Of course I gave it to the side with no general, didn't I? Foolish. And doing that, switch the general over here. When did I get so bad at this game? Okay. 10 and 6 led by Jean Bureau it's into the woods, granted and they'll probably run to London so you guys give chase, hold on how am I managing to screw this up so much 
Must be because I'm shaken by uh, Shatterhand. There we go. Jean Bureau, destroy. The extras give pursuit as and where needed. Now this is them with their four shock and actually we got a uh, crossing and the woods so maybe it would be good to leave some guys ready to back up because there's no guarantee I'll win this even with my superior morale. I should go for some distraction tactics then. I'll keep you here just in case they need a bit of help. A lot of it comes down to the roll here. Hmm. Still superior. Right, we've got Cumbria and Gascony. We're not going to be taking Labour and uh, Normandy at this rate, but that's enough. Jake Call Allies. Hmm. Scotland? Scotland would join in. But I don't think I want Scotland to join in. I mean, it might be helpful, but... <sighs> Scotland desire everything, so they wouldn't really give anything up to me. Oh, dearie me. Those are some pretender rebs for sure. Let's just have nothing to do with them for now. Okay, to bring in Scotland or not to bring in Scotland. I can't think of a single other actual use for them. So I guess it couldn't hurt to have them involved. Also, now that we've managed to do everything I wanted to do, I can just get you guys over to... Maybe not Ayrshire? Actually, yes, Ayrshire. It's not fortified, which is a bit of a bummer, but... Hmm... Tricky. Do I want you in this war? I can't think of a good reason not to bring you in, so that's good enough reason to bring you in. March is going to be a bit of an issue here. Alright, how's this looking? I'm getting some very favourable rolls on the uh, on the battle there. Unfortunately, this, uh, these forts are going to prevent our movement quite badly. And another one falls to us. Alright, may just have to support these rebels, even though it's going to cost me an arm and a leg. Eh, not too much, but at least that should stop them from killing us. Which is what we're looking for. Them not killing us. So where are you going to run to, boy? Probably Landon. So I'll meet you there good friend. That said, I'm going my way to London without actually, uh, Getting a general on the case, which is not a good idea. Thankfully, Scotland should help us cap that. Oh good, I'm waiting for him in London. Ah, but he made his way to Kent. The sod. Okay, well I'll just have to keep him uh, in check. But I'm sort of blocked as well, which is a shame. Because I can't take care of these thanks to the fort. So once the fort in Marches falls, or the one in London, God forbid that one falls earlier, we'll be good to go. But I will want Jean Bureau on the case over there. And hopefully I don't get discovered supporting the rebels, because that would blow hard. So yeah, we'll get our three siege general over there. You come back to kind of keep everybody...